the two on the shoulders, lift the feet, press the feet down. Breathing in, stretching up, come through, half lift. Bend in, half lift, and stay here. Push your feet down and come up. Thumbs together and just sway from side to side. And then lower the hands. Bend your shoulders. Do that again. Hands up, palms through the centre. Half lift. So Stay here. Press the feet down if you bend your knees and roll up. Hands up. Take hold of one wrist and over to the side. And take hold of the other wrist and come over to the side. Lower the hands. Lift your shoulders. Come to the top of the mat and half loose the thumb. But Obviously, missing out down the top for you. Stretching up. Look up if that works. If it doesn't, then look ahead. Palms together. Come through the centre. But this time, come to bend your knees and hands up to either side of your feet. Step back with your right foot. Keep it high. And then, for a nanosecond, step back with your left foot in plank and instantly drop your knees to the ground. And then come to lie on your front, <laughs> on your elbows, and then just come to lie absolutely on your front, extending your hand. And then tucking the right toes to stretch the right hand away from you, the he right heel away, stretch the right side, relax. Let the right heel drop out to the side. Tuck your left toes under, stretch your left heel, stretch your left hand, and relax. Wobble your bottom, and then slide your hands back to, to either side of your chest, elbows in, tummy in, perineum engaged. Press the hands down, come back to kneeling. Cat cow. Dip in the back, looking up. Round and chin to chest. Breathing in, round and chin to chest. Now either do that again, or if you want to tuck your toes and come into a downward dog, please do. Otherwise do a cat cow again. Downward dog, stretching out, bending one knee and then bending the other knee. Tummy in, perineal engages. And then we rejoin soon, perhaps on the knees. Hands to the left, right foot comes up, hands to either side of the right foot. Just stretch the right knee beyond the 90 degree angle, stretch out the right hip. Come back to 90 degrees, and then breathing in, press the first, kneel up, breathing in again, stretch the hands up, breathing out, turn to the right, right hand on the waist, right left hand on the navel, turn to look over your right shoulder, come back to the centre, breathing in, raise the hands up and breathing out tummy in, hands to either side of the right foot, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee and step or slide the left foot to the right foot, hands on the shins, half lift, breathing out, soften. Breathing in, half lift. Stay here as you breathe out. Breathing in, soften the knees, roll up, let go, roll up, let go, to stand up. Stretching up and breathing out, circle wrists down. Lift and roll the shoulders. 
When you come to the left side, clasp the hands behind you, knuckles to the ground. Open the shoulders, open the chest. You can look up as an option, but only if that works for your neck, otherwise look straight ahead. Bring your head to upright. Release the hands. Slide the hands down the back of the legs as you bend your knees. And hands onto the ground. Step back with your left foot. Come high, stretch the left foot out. For a narrow second, we're going to come to plank and then immediately drop the knees. Step back with your right foot, straight line, drop the knees. And then come to lying on the ground by the elbows. Stretching out. Just tap the tops of the feet on the mat. Um, is that up an lymphatic system soon? Yes, that's below your toe, where your toes go and goes into your foot at the front, in between each toe. Okay. There's a space and that's your upper lymphatic system, yeah. And then relax, knees a little bit apart, soles of the foot to the ceiling, circle the ankles a couple of times in one direction, and circle the ankles a couple of times in the other direction. If you need to turn your head to the side, then please do. And then just sway the feet from side to side. Um, to bring the feet back to the center, lower the legs to the ground. If you feel you need to adjust your knees or alter your legs, bringing them in slightly, please do. Slide your hands back to your chest, elbows in, tummy in, perineum engages. Press your hands down, come back to kneeling. And then again, a couple of cat counts. So see, you might like to again carry on with your cat count. And as we come to our next cat count, tucking the toes, Coming into downward dog, lengthen the back, straighten the legs, you can adjust your feet wider or closer to your hands, walk the dog, bending one knee and then bending the other knee. Stretch back with both legs, both knees to the ground so we come to join up together, hands to the right, left foot comes up, bless you, and then just come forward over the left knee, stretching out the left hip. Bring the left knee back to a 90 degree angle. Breathing in, slide or kneel up, hands up. And then breathing out, turn to the left. Left hand, right hand goes on the navel, left hand goes on the waist. Turn to look over the left shoulder. Coming back to the center, and then breathing out. Coming to bring both hands to either side of the left foot. Tuck the right toes under, tummy in again. Lift the right knee and step the right foot to the left foot. Hands on the shins, breathing in, half lift. Breathing out, softening, bending in. Breathing in, half lift. And stay here as you breathe out. Breathing in, soften the knees and roll up. Vertebra by vertebra to standing. And breathing in, stretching up. And then just circle the wrists down. Lift and roll the shoulders. Hands together at the heart centre. Soften the knees, circle the arms up. Come through the centre. Bend the knees, hands to either side. Step back with the right foot. Option to keep the right, right foot extended or just bend the right knee to the ground. Either come back to plank in a straight line or just rejoin on your knees and then come to your knees if you've gone to plank. Breathing in, dipping your breath, breathing out, rounding. Dipping the breath as you breathe in. And this time as you round your back, widen your knees and come to stretching out in extended child's pose. Walk the hands to the right, place the right hand, the left hand on top of the right, stretch out the left side. 
just slightly rock from side to side. And then walk the hands back to the centre and carry it on so that you walk to the left and the right hand goes on top of the left hand. And again, just slightly rock from side to side, just scratch and wiggle out the right side. And then just come to the centre, stretch out and extend the child's pose. Feel the stretch at the lower back level on the L4, the L5 side. And then sliding the hands, come to once more a neutral tabletop position. Turn to look over your right shoulder and your left hip might go to the left. Come through the centre and then turn to, with your, to look over your left shoulder and your hips go to the right. And then come into the centre. And then tuck in your toes, tummy in. And we're going to come, walk to the front and come to standing however that works for you. So come and lie down the dog in the normal way. And then walk the feet to the hands, the hands to the feet. Hands onto the shins, half in. Breathing out, suck in. Half lift. Stay here as you breathe out. And then pressing the feet down, rolling up vertebra by vertebra to standing. Hands up, stretching. Join the thumbs and just sway from side to side. Bend the elbows, hold the elbows, and again go from side to side. So this is a somatic movement, um, which is very helpful for re um, resetting the vagus nerve, apparently. So it's resetting your nervous system, a part of the reset. And then just come to centre. Lower the hands, lift and roll the shoulders. Just tap here a couple of times. You really want to EFT yourself, just tap your head. And then drop your hands, lift and roll your shoulders. Once more, just open the chest, separate the hands. Slide the hands down to the ground. Step back with your left foot, stretching it. Left knee on the ground, right foot. And then we just come into an um, up dog, lifting up. And then once more, come to child's pose. This time, come to a slightly different child's pose. Make fists with your hands and just rest your forehead. And see if that opens your lower back a little bit more. It might not do. Just a slightly different version. So this is calm for the nervous system. Because of course in yesterday's class with cerebral awareness, cerebral fluid awareness, it's not something that we into. And then very, very gently come to bring your hands, come up to kneeling, hands to the right, left hand up. Hands to either side of your uh, left foot. And then tuck the right toes under, lift the left right knee up, step the right foot to the left foot, hands on the shins, half lift. Breathing in, tuck in. Breathing in, half lift. And in your own time, then breath out and stay here as you breathe out. And then breathing in, roll up, vertebra by vertebra to standing. Hands up. And then just uh, open and stretch your hands just for your fingers. Hands bend your fingers. Um, and then just circle the wrists one way and circle the wrists the other way. Lift and roll the shoulders, bring the hands to the heart. A 
And they're going to come to sit down onto the mat, legs out in front of us. I might get you a pulse to each. Don't fall down. You're right. so <laughs> Not a bit too much for everyone. <laughs> well, that's nice about getting old. We don't really care. Now I know. actually, I go through that just <laughs> I can imagine Phil doing the uh, thing and see. He doesn't listen. He just does the start and the end. Uh, and yeah, then, of course, he does. Just ties the start. He <laughs> so, not see me that he does. <laughs> Well, this uh, is unfazed, I would say. And then just circle the feet one way and the other way. Just do your rubbing, patting. You can go over, bottom, whatever. And then just lift one leg and then the other leg. Clasp underneath. And just lift your toes off and just. So if you want to engage your core, you're trying to sit up straight, but that's mm -hmm. quite forever. And then just release your feet to the ground. And then open the left foot out to the left. You want to bolster underneath your right leg. Come into your. Some of your foot doesn't have to touch the inside, just aim towards that. Just lengthen your body, circle the arms up, bend the elbows, turn towards the left leg, and just slide the hands down the shin. Press the hands down to lengthen your back. Perhaps leave with the chest and then just come over to the left extended leg. Janu Susasana, which is head, Janu is at the, the knee, Susasana is the head, so it's knee to head pose, but we call it knee to head to knee pose. It opens the lower lymphatic system on the right side of the hip. Coming forward is common for the nervous system, and the slight turn to the left is helpful for realigning the spine and the muscles along the spine. You extend your left um, heel, so the left toes are up. You might find that you slide down a little bit further. And then when you're ready, slide your hands up your left leg. Place your right hand behind you and just look upwards to the left thumb. Eyes up, disconnect the eyes from the stress centres of the brain. And then just very, very gently lower your left arm. Bring your right knee up, hug it into the chest. And then just very gently stretch out your right leg. Bounce your legs, bring your support over to the left side. <laughs> Sides, which is the right side, turn to your right, circle your arms up, tummy in, perineum engages, bend your elbows and just slide along. So you might like Carol to think about asking Sue anything you might want to on the flexology because we're going to come when, when you want to.
able to raise so we're going to come from here into the soles of the feet together but just for the moment just sliding the hands down press the hands down lengthen leading from the chest and then just you might find the hands slide a little bit further forward the other um, benefit of this pose is that the back is curved and so you're just encouraging the breath into the back. Breathing is slightly different. And then sliding the hands up. You might want to just move your support away and soles of the feet together. So if you have any particular point that you want to raise, then now is the time to do it. Any point that you want to do it. Carol, no. Really? No, no. Because if you think you need what those do. Oh, so just generally stiff and uh, couldn't get to sleep last night because I was stressing out about Patsy. No, and I'm I was, worried, yeah. yeah. Thinking what she would like because she didn't look all right oh, at all. Mm. Well, we'll just do the solar plexus then, which okay. is we've done quite a few times before, which is the point sort of midway across underneath your the balls of your feet mm -hmm. in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's a soft bit, but oh, if you yes. press in hard, you actually come to like a you can feel like a little it sort of right. stops. Yes. Yeah, yes, and that's the reflex point. So if you press it quite hard, you can actually feel a bit zingy, slightly hurting but just a yeah, bit yes. zingy. So it's the same one, but so if you actually just sort of so rub what, that. What does that do? By well, you just it just can just release. It's it's your solar plexus, so it's just it's your sort of releases anxiety. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the point that it relates to in your body is is under your diaphragm. So if you think of where that is mm -hmm. and where this is, it sort of relates in the body. Okay. And you know when you feel anxious, you get that sort of sort of like sick sort of feeling at the top of your stomach yeah. there. So that's that point. So it's 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 and it's sort of anti-anxiety. So if you just want to relax, it's, it's lovely to do before you go to bed. Actually, yeah. if you feel a bit. And it's making you feel like hugely, it's just releasing You can't, like you can end. do, when they used to do really feel it, so I used to do it on people and they used to go, whoa, you know, they used to actually feel it in them. Mm. So, yes, you, see, you can do it on both sides. So it's just the point in there. So that's the solar plexus. It's an anti-stress. Mm. Often people, if they're really, used to get some, some people who were really very, very unwell, mm. And um, hmm? oh, it's a very new, oh, it's a try by the time. Probably a bit with the wind. So, um, so I used to do the solar plexus, and some people, you, you believe it or not, you could actually hardly touch there because some people who are so wired up, and very stressed, or quite ill, or, or very, very anxious, you could hardly touch that point there. It would be very, very, very sore. And, um, so yes, it's just a so trying to do it sort of equally on both sides because it's two points. Mm. So you know that perhaps you have that bruise there. Yes. That might have been oh. the start of her stuff at the moment. She last week she had a bruise under there, and I said, well, you can often get marks mm. just in that sort of in certain areas that would relate to that because it's an unusual place to, to, to damage to get a bruise and she said oh I did think that and she said it was very sore so that was that was only last week wasn't it oh. so just and maybe that was sort of prelude to her being unwell yeah. now so maybe she was off because she had obviously this holiday it's mm -hmm. in Jubilee and obviously she was off teaching but they haven't confirmed her contract it was just so last minute mm -hmm. it was so, so stressful it was very very stressful yeah. and um so you just carry on and you can just, after that, just generally with the, with the, your knuckles is the best thing to do, but not too hard, it's just all the way around. And it's quite a good thing, if you're feeling a little bit uptight before you go to bed, it's quite a good thing to do, but put a bit of cream on your foot. Mm -hmm. And you'll feel better doing that, just for a couple of yeah. minutes, but gently. Yeah. So as and when, you finished your feet. We're going to lie down and we're going to do that stretch that you like, um, Sue. So have your bolster ready. Oh, yes. Um, on your right side. 
Stretch your right leg out, bolsters to your right, and hug your left knee into the chest. Honestly, you think this was a torture class, I was going to do this. It's like getting down, getting down. <laughs> and then just rolling the entire, hugging the left knee into the chest, roll the entire body to the right, and your left inner knee might rest on the um, holster. Extend your right heel at any point just to stretch out. Your right hand goes on the naturally on the left outer thigh, and your left hand goes on your left waist to start with. You can stay like that. You can look up or look to the left or wherever, eyes open or closed. But then you can choose to raise the left arm above you, back of the hand on the ground. Elbow can be bent as straight as you want it or stay with your hand on the waist. Or if you want a real stretch, open your left arm to the left, like a book, at shoulder level. That is really strong under the arm, palms down. That is a stretch too much, it really goes into the bust area. So just choose either on the waist, um, above you, or arm um, out. So this is a really, really fundamentally important stretch. Because the body's on the ground, the muscles supporting your back can relax. And they're more open to stretching and they're in a slight rotation here. So it's realigning for the spine, it's realigning for the digestive system. But then coming back to what you were saying, Sue, about the solar plexus, all around this area, um, it is a kind of resetting, is, our digestive system of not just food but how we process life and life events. So there is a fundamental emotional ethereal aspect to this pose. And closing the eyes, if people can do that, uh, automatically starts to um, alter the brain waves um, down from normal operation of beta and obviously the longer you stay with your eyes closed the more they start to go down into, I think it's alpha, they're just starting to go down. And if you know your brain waves, the operation of your brain waves, you're beginning to um, directly work on your nervous system and calming it down. So there are lots of uh, thoughts there. You can relax, you don't have to keep your right heel extended, but anytime you really want to stretch into the body and stretch out, and you can do that by extending your heel, your right heel. It's quite nice on the hip, the left hip, because that's just bent, the legs bent, and so you've got a slight stretch there. And then to come out of that, tummy in, perineum, and go just roll onto your back. But your back would have been slightly misaligned, not it's been turned, so. In order to straighten yourself up, place both feet on the ground, knees up, just lift your bottom, just straighten out slightly. Take your support, bring it over to the left side. Just a couple of pelvic tilts, flattening the back as if you're lifting your bottom, and then that little gap under the back as you um, roll towards your tailbone, just a couple of times. And then come to neutral, straighten out your left leg, hug your right knee into your chest. And then when you're ready, roll the entire body, lifting off the hip to the left. Your right knee, inner knee, will sort of lie on the bolster support. You can extend your left heel at any point you want a nice stretch. Your right hand starts off on your right waist and your left hand starts off somewhere resting comfortably on the outer edge of your um, right thigh. And you can look upwards, you can look slightly to the right, wherever your head feels that it sets to naturally. Eyes can be open or closed. Some people don't like closing their eyes, it makes them feel very vulnerable. So whatever works for you. 
And then you can think about staying with your right hand on the waist or extending the right hand upwards like a hand on the mat above you, opening up onto the arms and the other lymphatic system, which would boost your immune system. Or opening your arm, right arm out, right like a book, which is too strong for me, too strong for my shoulder. My shoulder lifts off the ground. So just find your best pose. And then just relax for a few breaths. When you realign the muscles along the spine and realign the body like this, your blood um, is it's always that unkinking the hose, your blood can start to flow um, if there are any kinks or being squashed anywhere. And so there it becomes a, an optimal or a better function with the organs and with your um, relaxation, as you're relaxing here. Relaxation relaxes the muscles, and when muscles relax and there's less constriction, the blood again has an optimal flow. And then just very gently take one last little stretch, extend your left heel, relax, and then roll onto your back once more. Place both feet on the ground, lift your bottom, and just Straighten yourself out. Hug the left knee into the chest. Hug the right knee into the chest. And just very gently rock from side to side. Rocking across the back of the head. And that incorporates, there are four acupressure points on the back of the head. I don't know if you want to add to that, Sue, or you're not. So I can't remember, I don't think um, they're fully bad already in, on the back of the head. Yes. But there are. Yeah, that's in this off centre, isn't it? Yeah, I, try, I can't remember that. I know there are four. Yeah. And doing this really kind of connects into those. So again, really quite yeah. helpful. Or, so is it the liver, gallbladder? Oh, okay. Is it? I don't know. I, can't I, did, I did used to know them, I can't remember. I'm intrigued now to look them up. And then hugging both knees into the chest, breathing in. Extend the left leg up, left heel. Extend and left arm goes up and back, stretching out, chin to chest. When you're ready, breathe out and hug the left knee back into the chest. In your own time, your own breath pattern, the same on the right side. And then once more to each side, your own breath pattern. I'm hugging the knees into the chest, we're just doing hip exercise. Let both knees drift away from you to arm's length. Open the knees in to make a little V, and then circle the knees, hugging them back into the chest. Let both knees drift away from you to arm's length. Circle the knees out to the right. Hug the knees back into the chest. And you can feel that apart from massaging along the lower back, you're also beginning to move the thigh bone in the um, hip socket. And then the other way around, hug the knees into the chest. Um, just, um, I have a mental uh, work out here. So hug these and suggest open them or they're hugged into the chest away from one another and then circle them so that they meet at the top just to reverse the direction. Open both them into the chest, open them and they're hugged in and then circle them to meet at the top. So this is just one of the really iconic hip flexibility 
flexibility uh, movements. It's completely safe. Heaps of flexibility in the joint. Those imperceptible little uh, contractions of muscles around the hip area, if they're not used properly, and most people don't, you're walking or whatever you're doing, playing tennis or whatever people are doing, it doesn't go through the full rotation of hip movement. And there's often a repetitive um, movement as well, which then can wear and tear rather than a kind of lubricating and nurture. And then just very gently coming to hug the knees into the chest again. And let both knees drift to arm's length. Hugging both knees into the chest. A few times in your own breath. Gently, still keep the knees hugged into the chest. Bring your hands, palms down alongside you, and really bring your hands close into your bottom, or even your thumbs might slightly go under your bottom area. It slightly just lifts the bottom. And then when you're ready, raise one leg slightly up to the ceiling, it can be bent at the knee, and then the other leg. And then just very gently. Sway slightly from side to side. And then come to the centre. Hug the knees into the chest. Just once more slightly rock from side to side. And then hands under the thighs to bring the feet down to the earth, knees up. Just bend your elbows and just raise your elbows loosely above your head. You can hold your arms, your forearms, your elbows, your wrists with your hands. Feet slightly wider and hip width apart. And just very, very gently sway your knees from side to side. You can lift your hip off the ground as you sway one way and then the other. You can slow the sway of the knees down to correlate with your breath. You can linger in a spot that feels it needs extra attention. And then bring the knees to the centre. And as you start to breathe out, start the breath, and you'll find your elbows naturally start to lift, and then just return your elbows back down alongside you. Taking the breath in, and then taking And just check in, you can stay with your um, knees bent or you can just relax your legs out and to rest, whatever works for you. You can have your knees touching in constructive rest. You can have your palms turned up classically or have your palms resting on your tummy. And just bring your attention through the body, starting at the feet, relax the feet, relax the legs the lower and the upper legs. Relax the torso, the front of the body, the back, the hips are heavy on the ground. 
relax the back of the head on the ground. And just take a few breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. You'll bring back happiness. I just let the breath go and have a thought for the day. It can be for yourself, it can be anyone for anyone at all, close to you, anybody. How can you have whole community? And mentally think that thought, whatever it is, a couple of times and then just let it drift off. The intention of the day would be set. And then place one hand at the navel and one hand at the heart level. And you just notice as you breathe in, your tummy rises slightly. And there is a heart um, gut connection. Here, everything is relaxed. Body supported by the earth, so all the organs have space. The nervous system has come down a few notches. Breath should be slower. The muscles relax when you breath and flow better. You uh, have more. Um, the breath can be better oxygenated as the, the breath slows down. Let you exchange. And then just release that, hug the knees into the chest once more as you connect to being on the mat and connect back some more to the sensory aspect with the body heavy on the ground, just slightly rock from side to side. Just circle the feet a couple of times to connect to the feet. And then taking your time to come to a seated position to finish the class. Just bring hands together at the forehead centre. So thought, kind thoughts to the mouth, the lips, time words and then through to the heart centre, kind deeds. Thank you. And have a very lovely day ahead. And then